Hey guys, we got an old radiator here with a nice crack right along here. And my son's going to need a couple of months to save up to buy a new radiator, so I'm going to try and just get this to last him a little longer. If you uh, are in this situation yourself, you know, for about 10 bucks you can make it hold off until you can save up a little bit to buy a whole new radiator but uh... you know it's been a while since I've done it this way but uh... if need be you can actually get a patch job like this to last a couple of years if you take your time and do it right first thing we're going to do is we're going to rough up this uh... tempered plastic we're going to sand it sideways what that's going to do is it's going to give our weld our JB weld epoxy weld something to grip you don't want to sand it this way because this plastic when it gets hot it will expand and when it cools off it'll it'll constrict what we're going to do is going to scratch it up this way real nice with sandpaper Give that JB something to grab a hold of. Then we're going to reinforce this whole top piece because it has little stress fractures, if you will, all the way across this thing. So we're going to reinforce the whole thing with some epoxy. But first thing we have to do, give this piece a little more strength to it. Hey guys, this is Jeff. Mentioned that we were going to be uh, doing some work on this old radiator. Got a crack in it right there. Sanded it up pretty nice with a sanding disc. I uh, just cut it into quarters so I could get into it a little easier. I wanted something stronger than uh, sandpaper. Something that's a little rigid is going to give me a little more uh, catch in these fine areas. And uh, next up, we're going we're gonna to put some uh, JB right here over this crack. Why JB? It's tough. They got Mega Steel. They got other epoxies you can use, but it's it, you know it's, it's the one I grew up with. I'm used to it. Uh, so we're going to patch this piece there with some JB. Let that harden up. Depending upon how it settles in, I may sand it down and put another layer of JB over it. And the rest of this piece, we're going to be uh, covering with some thinner epoxy. Now, I happen to have a little JB on hand, so I wasn't worried about that. But I'm going to have to go buy some of that other stuff, about uh, seven, eight bucks. So uh, by the time I'm done, we're going to clean this thing up and then uh, put a thin coat of uh, just black spray paint on it, just so it looks decent. But the whole purpose of this isn't to repair you know long term it's not a fix it's a band-aid but the idea behind it is to buy yourself a little time if you need to save up to replace an expensive piece of hardware so that's where we're at next time we come back we're going to have uh have jb over that and we're going to clean it up and put another layer of epoxy on the rest of it and we'll see how that goes all right we've got our epoxied jb weld it's not the prettiest thing. Think about gravity. Like it likes to pull things down. Look at that. Just trip, trip, trip. That's the way JB is. You gotta gotta stay on it unless you get the uh, five minute JB. And then of course with bigger projects, you, five minutes may not be long enough to get it set where you need it before it starts to harden. But with the other stuff, it takes about uh, 15, 20 minutes before it gets firm. Especially out in the southern heat lake. Wow. But, um, yeah. Just going to put a, a thin coat of uh, just a little epoxy. Uh, not JB. I mean, it doesn't need it. But uh, just something to give it a little more protection. A little more uh, rigidity, if you will. But, uh, yeah, that's our, uh, that's our band-aid. Over that big crack. We're going to finish this up. I'm going to spray paint her black, put her back together, 
fill her up with water crank her up let her get the temperature let her build up some pressure and make sure it's going to hold and we'll see how that turns out this is where we're at all epoxied up got the band-aid in place put a thin coat over the rest of that rail got her painted up Ooh, look how shiny and sparkly well that's not going to help keep the water where it needs to be but um, yeah we're going to put this thing back together fill her up with water crank her up we'll be back and we're back with a finished product look how purdy that product is got it topped off with some aqua go ahead and crank it up buddy Now let's close her off. What we're going to do is we're going to sit here and let it run for a while. And we're going to check back after. That gizmo over there goes up about halfway. And we'll see if she sprung a leak. see if we can see you cannot see there you go we've had the car running now for about 15 minutes it didn't take long to get up to there but uh, just ain't getting no hotter that's all there is let's go see if we got any leaks of sprung Well, I see no dribbles nowhere. It looks as though our leaky leaky may have stoppy stoppy. And that, my friends, is how you can buy yourself a little time. get something taken care of I've had people who've done this before I've done it several times in the past they said that they've used it for years that way I wouldn't recommend it I would certainly make sure you carry a gallon jug of antifreeze in the trunk just in case but if you're in a pinch that's one way to get it through good luck and happy engineering <laughs>